Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So a question that I wanted to answer that someone asked me in a recent comment on my year transformation video, and if you haven't seen that, I'll put a link for it up above. Also put some clips in this video showing my body before and afterwards. And yes, yeah, specifically this one that's gonna come up now, you can see there's a huge difference between the two. And I forgot to mention the question, which I will mention now. And the question was, is how many times a week was I working out to transform my body to where I did within the one year that you see in the one year transformation video? So yeah, the simple answer to that question is, I was actually only training three times a week, which a lot of people will be quite shocked by that. But what I will say is, when I was actually training, I was training so, so hard during every single training session. So the muscle groups that I would be working on with each workout would normally ache for around four to five days and it would be really, really painful during that recovery time. And what I say is, Early on, I was doing some leg workouts, but then I stopped doing them completely. So what I was normally doing was two different upper body workouts a week and one ab workout. And they'd normally last around 45 minutes. So I was only training for around two hours and 15 minutes. And that was normally including my warm up for each different workout. So yeah. As you can see, that is not a lot at all. And the research that I've done into professional bodybuilders, which I'm a calisthenics athlete, I'm not a bodybuilder, is that a lot of them only train around four times a week for an hour to an hour and a half. But when they're training, they're doing specific training that fatigues the muscles so much and tears the muscle fibers a lot. And the more you tear the muscle fibers, the more they are going to grow and build during the recovery time and when you're resting as well. So yeah, you don't need to be in the gym training loads and loads and loads and loads and loads, unlike what a lot of people think. And a lot of people on my YouTube channel say, yeah, you could obviously get the body that you've got because you train hours and hours and hours a week. And that is complete misinformation, at least during that one year transformation. It has now changed where I'm at now because I need to train more frequently to continue getting more gains with my muscle mass and my strength. And my diet is a huge factor in allowing me to get the body that I have now, sustain it long term with a very low body fat percentage. And the way I eat is one meal a day on a vegan plant-based diet. And yet yeah, helps maximize my human growth hormone production because intermittent fasting has shown in men to increase human growth hormone production by about 2000%, in females about 1300%, and testosterone levels have been shown in scientific studies as well to increase by 200 to 400% whilst in that intermittent fasting state for men and around 100 to 200% for females and it's also at the same time massively reducing your insulin levels and improving insulin sensitivity and insulin is a fat storage hormone so having it very very low is going to help you get a very low body fat percentage and at the same time in the intermittent fast state your body is producing a protein known as glucagon which then allows your body to start burning its own body fat as fuel. So all of those different amazing benefits that I've mentioned are key for maximizing muscle growth, but also helping you recover as quickly as possible and reducing your body fat percentage and giving you a whole host of other benefits for your mind and body holistically. And yet with my training from the first exercise that I do with a workout, it is putting my muscles under a lot of Pain. So I make sure each different exercise that I'm doing in my workout is really pushing my body to its limits because that's what you need to do to maximize your muscle growth in the shortest period of time. So yeah, it's all about just training smart as I would call it. And a lot of people are not pushing themselves hard enough in the gym. Most people I see in the gym are really not training very hard whatsoever a lot of people doing fast reps with not a lot of weight and then expecting to get really good gains and results and yeah it just doesn't really work for them so you really need to study the type of 
exercise workouts that you're going to do, whether it's calisthenics or bodybuilding, and work out how to optimize it specifically for you and your needs with your fitness levels and your body goals as well. And I will be over the next month or so creating my own calisthenics workout programs that will be for beginners, intermediate, and advanced people. So stay tuned for them in the future. And if you wanna be notified of when they are up and available, go to my website, consciouscalisthenics.com, sign up for my newsletter, and when they're up, you will be informed. And for people that wanna know what I do specifically with training and now, is for about the last month or so, I have been doing cardio most weeks three times a week. I normally do 1.5 kilometers on a treadmill at the highest incline. And I go anywhere up to 3.5 speed. And yeah, that gets me sweating a lot. It normally lasts around 30 minutes. There's no air con in the gym that I'm training. That's it burns a lot of calories. I'm doing that to reduce my body fat percentage a lot more at the moment. And also, yeah, I still train around four times a week with calisthenics on top of that because I now also for a while I've been doing some leg workouts. So yeah, two different upper body workouts, one ab workout a week and one leg workout as well. And yeah, by modifying the type of training that I'm doing by adding in the cardio alongside the calisthenics and training more with the calisthenics a week, I can help myself gain even more muscle mass and get my body fat percentage down even lower. Because yeah, I'm not completely where I wanna be with my body. And it's gonna take me quite a while longer to get to the end result. And it's gonna be a continual evolution anyway. And yeah, what happens is, when you have hardly any muscle mass, you gain a lot within the first six months to a year. And then after that, to gain more takes a lot longer. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I love answering your questions. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up, and please share this video with anyone that you think wants to learn about how often that I trained with calisthenics to achieve the results that I did within one year from going from skinny to a very ripped muscular body, as you would have seen in my year transformation video that I mentioned earlier on. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis talking about calisthenics, providing you also with calisthenics workout and progression videos, informational videos on eating one meal a day, doing intermittent fasting, what I eat in a day videos, what I do in a day videos, and all different types of videos to inspire you, motivate you to push yourself to gain and maintain the body you desire, the fitness levels, and the energy levels as well, and teach you the right information to get there as well, just like I have managed to. And you can learn the things from my own personal experience that I did to achieve the results that I have. So yeah, if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.